BART Express, Downloading and Basic. Hey, this is Tyler Sweat from the Iowa Library for the Blind and Physically Handicapped. And today I'm going to be going over how to download BART Express and how to access books on BART Express. So to get started, if you didn't watch the first video in this series, you need to go back and watch that because if you are not signed up for BART, if you're not a patron of our library, then you got to get those steps out of the way first. So if you've already done all that, great. So you're going to log into your account on the BARD page, which is nlsbard.loc.gov. Uh, and again, I'll link all of the websites in the description that you need to get to where we are. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. Now, when you first log in, it's going to come up with our logo right there, and this is the BARD main page. So you can search the collection through their website. Uh, but once you get BART Express downloaded, you can do that all from the desktop application, which is a much easier and much cleaner way to do this. So from here, you're going to scroll down to the heading Additional Links. And then on Additional Links, the fourth link down is BART Express. So once you're going to go to that page, which takes you to the BART Express page from the National Library Service. This kind of talks about what BART Express is. Uh, it's it's pretty much a window-based application that allows you to browse any BARD book and then transfer it onto an NLS cartridge for your uh, player. Or you can transfer it to a, another USB drive, like a thumb drive, that you can then plug into the player, and it will play those books as well. So from here, you're going to go down to the third heading, How to Get BARD Express, and there's a Download BARD Express button. So you're going to click that. It's going to start, and then from here, you're going to open the program and run it from there. So one thing when you do get on uh, to installing it, one of the options is going to be a public shared computer auto logout. So choosing public will enable a logout after five minutes of inactivity. For a large majority of people, you're going to want to do a private account because what the public would be like if it's at a library or if it's at a nursing home where after five minutes, it's going to kick you out every single time. Or if you do the uh, private, it'll allow you to leave your login in there and logging in is much, much, much easier. So once it's downloaded, you're going to go ahead and open BART Express. You're going to type in your login information and then from here, you're going to get to the main menu. All right, now there's a bunch of different options here. Uh, all of these work with screen readers and at any time if you are having uh, needing help issues no matter where you're at if you click F1 it'll bring up a help page specifically for the window that you are on so I just clicked F1 and it came up with a separate window that's all about the main menu so it talks about the main menu it talks about kind of where you can go from here so just know that that anytime you're on any page and you're having issues if you push F1 It'll open up a window that'll kind of talk you through everything you need to know. So from the main menu, you have a lot of choices. Bookshelf, this is where all of your books that you have uh, downloaded are going to live. So this could be audio books, could be audio magazines, could be braille books. Anything that you've downloaded, we're going to, this is sort of the management area for that. Okay. Recently added books and magazines. This is anything that has been added by the National Library Service, and they update this fairly regularly. So it'll be in order of the newest book or magazine that has been added onto BARD. And then the next browse by subject. So this kind of goes through a bunch of different subjects that you can go. And once you click on that, it'll bring up a list of books that you can then search through. Browse by series. Now this is our specific book series. So for kids, there's different, well, there's also just different book series that exist. So like Harry Potter novels or Jack Reacher. So those types of things will exist where there's multiple book series within uh, a category. Preferences. So this is a... Uh, so we get to preferences couple different options on here that are very important to understand. First is format. If you click on format, you have a couple choices. You have just audio, audio and braille, or all braille. So if you're using 
just the cartridges in the, in the National Library Service Player, then you're going to want to stick with audio. If you're doing audio and Braille, which means you're going to download it onto like an SD drive that you're going to plug in to a refreshable Braille device, then you could do audio and Braille. Or if you're just using it to download books onto something to put into your refreshable Braille device, then you could just do Braille. Next is the cartridge copy mode. And this is where you're going to, you have the choice of allowing multiple books on a cartridge or limit one. So that's just dependent on you and how, if you understand how to use bookshelf mode, I have a video that I'll link that talks about bookshelf mode on an NLS player and how to use it if that's something that you're interested in. Then we have display mode. So standard mode is only one item at a time can be selected to copy, delete, or download. Advanced mode means you can select multiple things to have download at once. So it just depends on how you think you're going to use BART Express. Then we have status sounds. Those are nice uh, because it'll play sounds based on how far it is downloaded. The last one is result message display time. So this, can, this controls how long messages are displayed when you're browsing and searching for books. So such things like, uh, like a search box comes up saying that it's loading or a download box comes up, how long it stays up there. So if you are using a screen reader, I recommend that you make this a longer time, just giving your screen reader a time to read the message. The default is five seconds, but it can go all the way up to uh, you having to click it away or you could do a 10 you could do a 9 second delay at the longest time without having to go up to you actually having to physically click uh, on a button to get it to go away. All right, back to main menu download status. So anything that you're downloading, it'll show up here and kind of give you a run through on how far along it is. And then the wish list. So anytime you're searching, you can click add book to wish list. Now, what's nice about this is you don't necessarily have to download the book at that time. You could just add it as like, yeah, that's a book I want to read. Yeah, that's a book I want to read. You can fill this whole thing up. And then when you're ready to download it, let's say you don't have enough room on your computer yet, you just double click on the title from your wish list, and then you can download the book. And then most popular books. So these are the most downloaded books on Bard. That's what's going to show up on this list. So here they're just entitled in order of books that have been uh, just the most popular books that have been downloaded on Bard. Browse magazines, so that's just like the browse by anything else. It's just going to be magazines. Search Bard. Now this is if you're searching for specific keywords, book numbers, authors, and titles. So book number, it's important that you put the letters that correspond with it. So like if it was a DB, you need to make sure you put DB in there before you put any uh, numbers in on there. But if you're looking at like talking book topics, so if you have talking book topics and there's a book on there that you want to find on Bard, you can type in that number from talking book topics and it'll show up here. And then you can add it to your wish list or you can just download it directly from this menu. So then we get into managing devices. So this is where you're going to download books onto the device. So right now I have a, I have a thumb drive in. So it says there's no books on here right now. I've 15 gigs of free space to put books on there. So in the next video, I'm going to be kind of talking about how to download books onto a cartridge and how to use a thumb drive in your National Library Service player. Thanks for watching.